Hey y'all, welcome back to the DG Outdoors channel. Today's video, guys, I have a review on my military surplus shooter's mittens that I got today at the military surplus store and some snow camo mitten covers. And we're going to get into both of these guys. Now, like I said, I picked these up today at my local Army Navy surplus store for $10. Okay, they are used. I believe these are Dutch military gloves. Okay, I could be wrong. They were just in a huge bin. I also believe these were made in 1970. We're going to get into that as well and why I think that. But guys, these are an olive drab glove. Okay, the top of the glove has a like water resistant material. I don't think it's Gore-Tex, but it is really loud, but it's okay. Now, as I said, these are shooter's mittens. Okay, they have a, a black leather palm. Okay, and the, these are used. Okay, brand new gloves, the U.S. military surplus ones at the store, any other that I saw, were $40 a pair, and I didn't want to buy them, and I almost left the store, and then I looked over, and there was a bin full of these used for $10 a pair. Alright, so, they have, like I said, the water-resistant fabric all around the front, the cuffs. The wrist is elastic, so there is no cinch, cinching, um on here cinch tab on here okay they are long enough to fit over your jacket sleeve okay and they do have an uninsulated uh sh shooter's finger um on there so you can easily pull a trigger all right now on the bottom here guys this is a really soft material right here i think it's canvas now the reason i believe that these came out in 1970 okay is because it's not this one, it's the other one. All right. There is a black tag here, okay, that says RMP, it'll say ST, okay, J U N I E N, which makes me believe these are Dutch because I don't, I don't see anything, you know, in English, but it does say. 1970 right there if i fold that out and i've tried to make this video three times and kept trying to fill it out and fumble with it and i'm not doing it again so i believe these came out in 1970. also they do have a very soft fake fur lining in here but they're really really warm okay now i could have got a pair of gloves that had wool gloves that you put these over as a liner but I didn't want that. What if I lost the wool liner on the inside? Then I'm out in gloves and I just have these really nice shells. Now, one more thing I did pick up, guys, is, well, I'll put both of these on for you guys and just kind of show them off again. Again, it's got a leather palm, okay? The leather's not in bad shape, if you guys can see. I mean, it's a couple little worn spots, but nothing really that bad on there, okay, dexterity-wise. They're going to be all right. It's going to keep the snow out of my arms. Now, for what if I'm hunting in the snow? Okay, I'm wearing these mitts. That's cool. I have these U.S. Um, mitten covers. White snow mitten covers. Okay. And these were $5 at the Army Navy Surplus Store. And they come in a two-pack. And they look really big. But it's because they're made to go over your mittens. That's why they're a cover. It says mitten, shell, snow, camouflage. Okay. Um, Oxford cloth, cotton wrap, washable, mountain leather in incorporated. It's got an 04 lot number. I don't know if that's when they were made. Probably not. I'm thinking these are made like 81. Because at the end of the number there, it's got an 81. Again, I could be wrong. And these are pretty neat. Now, if we look at these. There's a cinch strap to, to cinch it around your wrist. Okay, here is the, the thumb part. But if you guys look right here, look at this. Okay. You're like, why is there a hole in there? Really? Well, let's find out why. You put on your glove. Okay, you're hunting in the snow. Boom. You need to go over. Watch this. Now. 
no good work. There you go. All right, you get your glove on there. Look at this. You still have access to your shooter finger. All right, from there. Access to your shooter finger. Cinch these things down. All right, and then you've got snow camo mittens. You're sitting there. You're ready to go in the snow. Here's what the other one looks like. This is one I hadn't put on, which is why it took me a second to figure that out. Now, these ones are U.S. military issue. The snow uh, mitten covers are. You can find them for like $6 on eBay. Okay. And then, boom, here's the other one. And... Okay. Come on now. There you go. Get them on there. Cinch them down. They go over the mitts themselves. You guys see how there's a lot of green there? But they're actually made for a bigger set of U.S. military issue, which is why there's flaps right here. But guys, I've got a pair of covers now. I can turn these mitts into some snow camo hunting mitts. So, that's pretty nice. These are just cotton material, all right? And that's how you'd wear them together. Pretty nice. Now, I think the mitt covers are one size fits all, okay? Um, and they are, again, they are washable and all that stuff. So, guys, this is my review on the Dutch Camo Olive Drab Gloves and the um, U.S. military snow mitten covers, guys. So I think these things are going to keep me warm. I'm going to add another piece to my snow camo set. I've already got a winter hat. And, uh, yeah. The one thing I wish that these gloves had right here were like little connectors on the side, but that's okay. You just fold them over. That's exactly how they were in the bin whenever I got them. So if y'all are looking for some Dutch camo gloves, I highly recommend these. They seem like they'll work great. And snow covers, right here to keep you covered. Alright guys, remember, like, comment, subscribe. Jesus loves you. I will see you guys on the next one. Thanks for watching.